Hey, welcome to another sample CTA test video. I am an Azure Solutions Architect, an Azure Administrator, an Azure Security Engineer, as well as a certified Kubernetes application developer. Question 18, Person Volumes, Part 1, Skill Level Difficult. You may be thinking to yourself, hey, Question three was about persistent volumes, and you'd be correct. Uh, it's nothing like a little redundancy when you're learning something, and this question covers different skill sets of persistent volumes. So this is part one. This is a two-parter. Storage. And this, cover, this question covers persistent volumes, and where it really differs from the question number three is part one, we do static binding, which is similar to, to question number three, but we add a little twist to it. And part two as dynamic binding, which was not uh, covered in question number three. Uh, the sample question, we're going to, there's a lot here. I'm not going to read each bullet point, but uh, it's some good stuff. And this is part one. And in part two, like I mentioned, we do the uh, dynamic. All right, well, good luck. Okay, question number 18, I believe it is. And we're tasked with creating a prison volume with the name of log PV that maps a certain hook path. It should be read write once and read only many. Uh, provision and storage capacity of two gigs and assign the routine policy of delete. An empty string as a storage class. A lot of fine details there. All right, so I'm going to start off with, uh, I'm in Minikube tonight, uh, notepad, and we're going to call it log-pv.yaml. I do want to create that file, and then I'm going to go to Kubernetes website. Going to type config a pod. That's my favorite starting spot because it gives me a nice list of things to pick from. And look at that persistent volume. And we scroll down, create a persistent volume, and we have an example. Copy that, paste that in. And now let's change it. So we want this to be called log PV. And local storage class should be empty. And storage, I believe it said two gigs. Yep. Two. And we run read write once and read only many. I believe it should be a dash in this. If we get an error, then we know it's not. And we want to and was that it? We claim policy of delete. So yes, we need to reclaim policy. For that, we might need to resort to help. So Q, not help, kubectl. Ooh, it's been a long time. kubectl, explain. Pi, spec, no, he wants volume, I believe. A persistent volume. Spec. Let's try that. And we're looking for 
Persistent volume reclaim policy. Let's grab that on a clipboard. It's a string. All right, so that's on my clipboard under spec. Whoops, we want to go back to here. Spec, and let's put it right there, I believe. And we want it to be delete. I think that'll do it. We'll see if we get any errors. Uh, let's save. Come back here. And I guess let's uh, give it a shot. Ah, uh, see, LS. Hmm. There we go. CubeCTL create slash F and what do we call it? P log PVM. CubeCTL get PV. All right, that looks good. We got three clean policy and elite. Okay. All right, so next one, let's move on to step two then. All right, now it's time to make the claim. So follow this general same step. So we want this to be called logs pvc.yaml. And we'll go back to the same web page. Look for a claim. We'll use this as a starting point. Oh, we didn't get it. We just don't want to stray there. Oh, oh there we go. What's this? What happened? Um, all right, copy. Minimize. Notepad. There we go. And here we want it to be called logs dash PVC. It's the word class. Couple quotes. Access modes read write once and request one gigabyte. I think that should do it. Anything I'm missing? Nope. All right. We'll create this. I thought it was PVC ammo. No, logs. And if we do a QCTL get PVC, we should see a bind or bound. All right, looking good, looking good. All right, now we need to make a pod for our volume claim. So let's go back to websites and here we are at PV pod or copy that. Let's notepad pod PV.yaml. Create it, yes. Paste. And we'll make this PV pod. And PV storage. And I think we called this, the claim was called logs PVC. And we'll call this PF container. And this has to, the name here has to match our name here. So we're good there. And they want us to go to slash bar slash 
slash log slash nginx. Is that right? Yes. Log slash nginx. All right. And I like it. Save it. QCTL create and pod. We'll give it a few seconds to to uh, create the container. Let's go check. Get pods. All right, our pods running. We do a QCTL. Describe oh, pod PV dash pod. Hopefully, we see yep, persistent value and claim rocket and rolling. All right, excellent. This might nope. We got, I was gonna say we'll stop here and continue with part two, but that's not correct. We need to two more steps yet. All right, all right, I'm gonna clear my screen here. Let's, and the next step is to open up an interactive shell, open up an interact, open up a shell to the container, and create a file there. So this is uh, so let's do that. We'll say kubectl exec. I think it was oh, forgot the name of the pod. PV pod. kubectl exec pv dot pod it and I think bin slash bash. I think that'll do it. Yep, there we are. And you want to go to var log nginx and create a file. And that file should be called my nginx.log. We do uh, ls. There's our file, so that's excellent. Exit the pod. I'm going to clear my screen. And if you delete the persistent volume claim, what will happen to the persistent volume? Well, think about that for a couple seconds. All right. I'm going to say it's going to go away because of step one. Uh, we made the reclaim policy of deletes.